how you adjust into that kind of... You would, I mean, I, I expected the dynamic to change. You know, like, it, not, I, I think when, when we talk about dynamic between my, myself and my ex-partner, yeah, of course, of course the dynamic change. Um, when it comes to me and my daughter, I'm, I'm happy to say that despite the transition for her, it's, she still can look at me with a sense of knowing who I am. And yeah. I, I'm, I'm personally grateful for that because um, at the same time of um, it, it being difficult for me, I can't imagine what it's like for my then five-year-old to mm. know that daddy isn't living in the home anymore, that mm. daddy isn't accessible to her anymore as much as I, I was. I, I lived, lived with them. So yeah. um, in terms of the dynamic for me, um, the dynamic for me, uh, yeah, it's been a massive adjustment, massive mm absolutely massive adjustment emotionally um with um you know my own thoughts on things and, and my thoughts of myself my thoughts of of future relationships my thoughts on 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 you know co-parenting i i always um you know from a young age it was my dream to kind of make sure that I, I, I was solidified and well solidified but more so i had foundation um, for um, myself and with um, just with a wife and children and a home and to have that foundation because I saw what it was like for my 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 um, my sing my single mother raising two boys and I remember thinking wow like you know although I love you know my mother it, it, what she done was near impossible to raise me and my brother like she has but with that being said I saw the difficulties and that doesn't mean that you know, because you, you're in a relationship, there isn't going to be difficulties or a marriage. Of course there is. But it is lovely having a companion to be there to help you manage through these scenarios with you. And that's what my goal was. You know, my, my goal was to make sure that to one day become married, have my children and, 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 and live a life. And we fight for each other every day. We, mm. we, we grow together. And I think the dynamic of that world shattering for me was really difficult. That, that is what was, was really, really difficult because I had reached a level and in my mind, I had reached what my goals were and I felt I had found the person to spend that time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas when it all drastically changes and you have no control over it, you have no control. You, you could be fighting for it, you could be not fighting for it, but either way, if it's going to change, it's going to change. And the dynamic of that was, was soul-destroying. Like it was, you know, I went to uh, counselling for it um, to 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 kind of work through this minefield. With that being said, as well, I was in the middle of buying my home. I, you know, that's something else. I I I was, um, and then I had to move to where near to where I work to make sure that I'm 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 as close to work as possible. And then also co-parenting. How do we develop those dynamics? How do we develop this coherent like? this coherent, consistent uh, arrangement when before we had it all. We had free reign. We'd wake up with our child every day. We wouldn't have to do all this pre-planning to things that were very normal to us. So all that dynamic change, although it's been, what, it's been, it's been about a year and four months, um, all that dynamic change was oh, soul-destroying to me. Like I, was, I was mentally really trodden down and really in the dumps and again um i remember at a time calling upon my 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 reserves almost like my 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 uh, calling on w within the strengths of myself i remember calling upon those those um experiences with mum when she passed away and remembering that raw like you know no one's died mm, 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 mm. yeah however disappointing this circumstance however disappointing the position you are in, nobody's died. Mm. So don't die in the scenario. Don't, don't, don't kill yourself off or cut yourself, um, cut yourself off with the scenario. The scenario is dead. You're not dead. Mm. 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 Always. Yeah, it's, it's a yeah. Right? yeah. You always kind of find that perspective, isn't it? You put it like yeah. into, um, yeah, in, 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 into context, really. Because, I mean, how, how long were you together, like, in, in total before you, like, before all that happened? So we, so we were together nine years. Uh -huh. um, 
2011. Yeah, it's 2011. So, yeah, we were together nine years. Um, and it, it wasn't something that I can personally say I envisaged. I didn't see it coming, mm. you know. I'm not saying it made it any easier, but I just couldn't see that coming. It was the furthest thing from my mind. Um, you know, we, we were going through difficult times, um, mm. times where I felt, for me, the best course of action would have been to make sure that we kind of go away and, and try and rebuild and try and cultivate what we had. Because what we did have was great. Like, they would, I've had, I would never, you know, kind of look down upon what I had with her, despite the outcome, you know. Mm -hmm. um, I'm very proud of what I had with her to some degree. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, we just, um, we were together nine years and it, it came to an end without any type of, uh, without any type of fight for me in my opinion and that's what was disappointing for me mm. and um you know yeah it is what it is man like i i i i think i the, the beginning of last year 2020 i remember like going through because it, it was 2019 october when we broke up so when when i got i moved i moved out of the family home um i got a place i literally um for three months was just getting used to this whole new dynamic and then at the beginning of the last year is when I said you know what this year's got to be different I've got to feel different I've got to feel better than this because mm. this is just horrible and mm. I started to speak to myself counsel myself almost tell myself that yeah you know what Jay you are entitled to a good life you know no matter mm. what, no matter what you're entitled to a good life no matter whether you've been great made mistakes you're entitled to a good life mm. no mm. no and with that belief, I've just gone on from there. I've just kind of said, no matter what, I, I want to be happy. I want to feel that sense, man. And, mm. and that's exactly, you know, what, what, what my aims are at the moment. 